And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Lux Control. To start the day off today, uh, got a variety of decks on the docket. One brand new deck with Frozen Challengers. I'm going to try Ash and Frostbite stuff with Fiora and Challenger stuff and put those two together. We'll uh, get to that one up next. I'm going to kind of start the day off though with just a control deck. We haven't played a, a lot of control decks recently and one that as far as control decks go i haven't played the heim redeemer heim redeemer lux variant in a while i think like 18 days um according to the mobile attic so it's been a little bit i'm changing a couple of things with it um you know we're gonna go with the full three purify because of the elusive deck these days and and i think purify is a really good card there but then also with it the full three detain and we can sometimes get the detain a purify combo where where we use like a chump wump or whatever creature heimerdinger makes um and we uh detain one of their things and then we purify our chump wump that we just used to detain and so that the, then therefore whenever the chump wump would die they won't get it back so we got that combo going on um, but the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to play a bunch of Remembrances. I've been pretty impressed with this card just in general, six mana spell, uh, especially in this kind of deck where we're not really playing anything on turn one or turn two too often, where we can play this on turn three, use our spell mana and our regular mana, and we can cast Remembrance on turn three. It's perfect with Lux because it's a six mana spell, so that's absolutely perfect with Lux. Um, there's three options that we can get. We can get Radiant Guardian, which I'm also just adding a Radiant Guardian. Um, uh, yeah, uh, let's see. The link is right there, and there's a there's a you on the right hand top right hand side. Um, uh, you can click it for the code. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try like just playing one Radiant Guardian as well because if we can get this thing turned on, have it life steal tough, it's very powerful. Remember, it gives us three options. We can either get Radiant Guardian, like all all three options are pretty good. Radiant Guardian is the worst option if you do not have an ally uh, die that round, um, you know, because then you don't get the life steal tough, so you just get the five five. So it's the worst option then, but it's the best option if you did have an ally die this round. So it's the high variance one. The other two are very good. Swiftwing, you can either get you could get that or you get Swiftwing Lancer. That's a really good challenger and has a last breath draw card basically. And you could get the Vanguard Cavalry, which is a perfectly fine card, especially uh, whenever it's costing less and it's you can use Spellman on it. So yeah, I've been really liking Remembrance. So I want to give it a shot. So here we go. We're gonna go play ten math matches over in Masters. Heimer Lux Control ranked. We're at 523 to start the day. Here we go. I'll write that down so kind of remember where we're starting today at 523. So we'll see like what our record is and where we end up. So, Heimer Karma is what we're facing. Let's just start with the Secession and see what else we get. Hey, J. Roddy with the Twitch Prime sub. That is awesome. Thank you, J. Roddy. Bringing some hype boats in here. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Our first sub of the day. So Secession is nice because we get to play this on turn two. So, you know, we'll have like a, a turn two, five, uh, three, three. Because we don't play anything turn one and we ramp into it. Well, yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, and there's Heimerdinger. Definitely a card that we want. This is not a good Purify matchup. Ooh. So while I could play Secession this turn, 
Ugh. All right, maybe I need to because of this thing. Because so I was gonna just go to and play Remembrance. I mean, I could purify this, but I don't. I don't want to spend the mana on purify because I want. I want to spend the mana on you know Vanguard and Remembrance and Heimerdinger and Chumplump. What's that you got there? All right, I think I just let them have that. Night falls. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Remember, isn't bad. Because obviously I can rummage away the mushroom clouds. I could even rummage away the purify. Uh, I guess I could purify this thing to make it non elusive. The order rewards its faithful. It's too late for you. Shadow. The other thing is, is like emptying our hand is kind of valuable for progress day in Heimerdinger. Like I don't want to have a lot of cards in hand. Hey, Timmy. Hope your Friday's going well. Empty the hand. We couldn't... Ugh. Even if I didn't cast like that Mushroom Cloud, I was going to be one mana off after, after playing the the Rummage. It's looking like, you know, I wish I didn't Rummage because then I would have had Heimerdinger with Flash of Brilliance. They cannot hide. I was going to be one short anyway. That's the problem with playing Remembrance. If I do play Remembrance right now, then I'm still short of playing Heimerdinger and having everything else available. Hey, Rex. So I guess that was a reason not to play that Mushroom Cloud. Imminently logical. Hey, Rex. Yeah, happy, happy Friday. Your day's going good. Yeah, I wanted a generic stream name that doesn't didn't have any any games in the stream name. Ionia speaks through me. Hmm. Rummage isn't very good. There you go. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, it, it definitely has been. Um, yeah, it definitely has turned into start being a real big deal. I I uh, went to the store and stocked up on just a couple of other couple of small things that I, I didn't have just kind of a, around the, you know, grocery wise around the edges. So I, I am. I am good for for a couple months, honestly. I can just stay home if needed. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm all good. I'm bunkered in. Dimensions don't determine themselves. Let's see.
risky. I don't have barrier available for Heimerdinger now. No. Wow, Karma just said no. Rude. So Heimerdinger versus Karma. I think I like being on the Heimerdinger side. We will not stand by. Ooh. Uh, nah. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. I'm not, you know, I'm going to keep barrier available, so I'm not casting anything else. But with this being a, a slow matchup and everything, I wouldn't really mind... I wouldn't mind getting them more puff caps. Three power of turret so far. And I have 11 mana. So if I play Remembrance, I'll have five mana left. Alright, we're gonna do that. They have another Mystic Shot I can't protect. Heimerdinger. It's just how it is. They have nine cards over there. Like, they have tons and tons of cards. And they have lots and lots of mana. Yep. Alright, Heimerdinger is gone. Um, get extra one, one, extra one, one. Too many ideas, not enough hands. I hope this remembrance hits the hits a radiant guardian now because I'll have a creature die. Hmm. Not quite. Alright, we get to be aggressive. By force of will. With karma blocking a mystic shot that can kill karma. 
But they get another spell here. Or at least I can, you know, try to kill Karma. But rotating mirrors and projected lights. Oldest trick Another Hammertinger? Gross, they had double flash of brilliance. Very good. Breaking invention today. <laughs> Can I play like Thermogenic Beam, target something, and then also cast Mystic Shot? I don't think so. Yeah, that's true. This True Shot Barrage. Okay, no? Okay, thanks. Yeah, this True Shot Barrage could be really nice. Invention to date. <laughs> okay, yeah, it just spends it all. So is it more important to kill Arma or kill Heimerdinger? I can kill one of the two with this thermogenic beam. I would kind of assume it's Heimerdinger. The other thing is they could have like the one mana heal something, and so if I target the karma, they could heal the karma. I hope they don't have a deny for the true shot barrage. <laughs> Sturdy Fall had a nasty cough, and the day later you get the same cough. That happens. My eye's been like real scratchy here. Okay, I think I just go straight to combat. I think I go straight to combat. Dimensions don't determine themselves. I mean, possibly not, though. If I play this first, I can get. A seven one barrier. <laughs> Illness spreads through the internet, probably. Yeah, like a virus. <laughs> From 
progress awaits for no one. Alright, so Heimerdinger has bounced. So I don't get the 7 1. And I don't really have the ability to play anything else. And attacking doesn't really make sense either. So that worked out pretty well for them. Was me spending one card, them spending two cards, and them taking three damage, and Karma taking two damage. But of course, um, the Heimerdinger was bounced to my hand. Everything's burst speed. There's a lot of cards. Down to 15. They've drawn six more cards than me. Now Heimerdinger is, has to start over before flipping. So Barrier doesn't do anything, right? Because a Barrier, then it hits once, then hits again. So Barrier doesn't help. So I'm just going to let this happen. They're tapped out. A Radiant Guardian, and then beam their creature. And try going straight to attacks. Uh, we said I should have progress date and then make got an A date. That's true. I guess I could have gotten A date, but I wanted to kill Karma. You know that this way we got to kill Karma and get the five five life linker. Um. Okay. I wish I had a little more mana because obviously I want to play Lux, but if I play Lux, I don't get to do anything else. I can progress a day and do nothing else, or I can just, you know, Remembrance and Cavalry and just, you know, basically put out the Cavalry. I guess that's my best play for this, this turn, but... That'd be nice to get another Radiant Guardian. Hmm. They found another Deny. Order and 
entropy. A never-ending cycle. Hmm. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Uh, maybe I should have just played Lux last turn. Before playing Remembrance and everything else like that. Tread lightly, strike hard. It's a tough game. It's real close. It's a tough game. I got the kids. Um, it's going to do four damage. Exactly. That's why this game is so good. It's so much. Yeah, like you said, chess level strategy. Absolutely. So he needs twenty. I thought he needs fifteen. Is it? Oh, maybe it's fifteen and. Is it fifteen in expedition and then twenty in constructed? Cause that's kind of weird that it's different. I should have just gone to straight to attacks anyway. I should have just done this first before doing that that whole thing. I should have just gone straight to attacks. Oh, I didn't realize you start with one less... Oh, because, yeah, you, you start with the 30 cards in your deck and not the 40 cards in the deck in the expedition. Okay. So it's half of your deck. Count... You cast two mana so far. I'm gonna do this. Three, four, five. So now we just need to cast one more mana for final spark. And so I can play the mystic shot for that. Three mana deny. <sighs> well, at least they're out of denies. Steel. 
So, you know, just doing the, the barrier to basically get a final spark. We're so close. 19 out of 20 still. Yeah, probably want to detain. I'm not sh exactly sure how. It's, there's a good chance they have a Will of Ionia, though, as well. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for detaining one of their things and just and letting them get it back. I'm gonna try to, de I'm gonna detain my own thing. I'm gonna just block and then detain my own thing, and so that when one of my things dies, I get the other back. The pursuit of perfection. Yeah, I mean, Heimerdinger is just a character. You know, he's, he's a champion, just like... Just like other champions. Yeah, they, they've already cast all three of their denies. have a catastrophe. Hawkeye catastrophe. Hawkeye's just trophy. I don't know. Yeah, 30-30. Overwhelm. I got eight cards left. I got 14. As far as milling out is concerned, they basically are probably looking for enough direct damage to kill me. Is my guess. This could be bad. Could be bad. I was really hoping to do the three damage with the overwhelm there and then have the get excited. That's right, the last one of those they got. No. I don't like seeing that. 
Well, it's do they have the four damage? Please don't. I could see this being Will of Ionia bounce the thirty thirty. No, they've only played one Will, so yeah, okay. Should still be enough to finish them off. There we go. Yeah, what a game. Like a, you know, 30 plus minute game. And we're up to 380. We're up to Hello. All right, let's see. So we're going to keep Heimerdinger. We're going to get rid of Rummage. We're going to get rid of Detain. Um, Chumpwump. I mean, I guess this is the combo, right? The Chumpwump Rummage combo. So it's like turn four. I'm just going to get rid of the Chumpwump also. Let's. Let's just keep the Heimerdinger and try to get some a little bit cheaper stuff. I like the Mystic Shot. That's good. I like the Barrier. This worked out. Pass. It's also probably good for us that my opponent hasn't done anything yet, but that's not good. Three, two, ones. All right, I'll just shoot one down. That man is going to be wasted anyway. Make it a little easier to, to take. They said pass, and so I obliged. Gross. Eminently logical. This Radiant Guardian looks like it's going to be really important. Huh. So they just pass. Why are they not attacking? What do they got going on up their sleeve over there? Yeah, I could definitely see them having a lease. 
You guys can see that. So I could just throw out like some mushroom clouds and just get one ones and just start putting a whole bunch of one ones out here, which isn't the worst idea. All right. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. Virtue guides me. That thing has burst speed. Gross. Banish the unworthy. I was already planning on using that barrier anyway. Oh no! Gosh! Wow! This has been a crazy game. Spiderlings. So spiderlings with what is this thing? Ah. Why is this auto scroll? Iceborne Legacy on Spiderling. Pretty interesting. Groundbreaking invention to date. I assume that we're ahead, considering we have, you know, we have just as many cards as they do, and our cards are probably better. Assume we're ahead. I obviously want to play Heimerdinger, but it's not really a great time to play Heimerdinger, because if I play Heimerdinger, I'm not doing anything else. It's honestly, like, this turn's the best progress day turn we have. I'm going to just go to attack, see what they do. I'll do this. You know, the upside's obviously very great for playing Progress Day after Heimerdinger is in play. 
And if Heimerdinger dies, Heimerdinger dies. That's how it is. I guess my ally is Heimerdinger. Yuck. Dimensions don't determine themselves. I guess so. Jump one, prepare to detain Hecarim. I th yeah, looks like you were... Looks like you had a, a, a pretty good plan there, S slightly bent. Okay. Um, I think I'll just take that. I'm not gonna try to re-detain. Re Get excited. Kill this Elise. They could have Black Spear again to kill Heimerdinger. Yeah. here so my chump bomb doesn't go down to one toughness for vile beast trade. Come on. Really? That's pretty great. I must get out of here. Darn. Uh, it does, doesn't matter. I thought that was the one one to block. Wow, obviously, you know, getting rid of, you know, doing that trade and not having to detain. Obviously, that was a terrible decision. I didn't expect that to be their last card. I didn't really expect that at all. GG's. That was a good, that was a really good game, though. That was a really good game. The opponent's deck was really cool. That was pretty sweet. Okay, they have Atrocity to go with They Who Endure. Okay. Yeah, I guess that, that wasn't really on my radar. Of, you know, I, I didn't have They Who Endure on my radar. If I did, if I was thinking that was a possibility for a card that they would play, that then I you know, would have played that differently. Is this the same deck? That we just played against?
Oh, right. They have no Hecarim. Last opponent had Hecarim. Come closer. I don't bite. You won't suffer long. Oh, what's that noise? Weak willed fool. That was a good one to hit the Lancer. That was a good one to hit. <laughs> I need to have protection from Hecarim for all my followers. So young. Ooh, what's that noise? See, Mom's still like a yodel in uniform. And of course we have the, you know, the rubbish combo set up here. I'm saving, hey, there we go. I was going to say I'm saving Flash of Brilliance for Heimer Jr. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I play this, we don't... Yeah, we have enough cards to play that. Excuse you. Huh. It's weird. I've I've never seen this combo before and now we played against it twice in a row. I've never seen it before. So that makes me lose a card, so I go down to nine, so I can still draw. Which is good. I'm thing wolf. I'm gonna have seven mana next turn. Cast that at eight, so to have enough for that, that, that. All right, so I still have enough for Heimerdinger, Flash of Brilliance, Prismatic Barrier. A true Felyorian welcome. Order, entropy, a never-ending cycle. I must get out of here.
Rally. Anticipated outcome. Keep trying to stabilize. Obviously, we have a whole lot more cards than they do. Round and round and round it goes. <sighs> Could just cast this rally. Uh. Yeah, I guess, yeah, purifying they who endure would be very good. Dimensions don't determine themselves. Too many cards. Uh, I guess I, I don't get the so I don't get the turret. Yeah, they who endure is a follower. Yeah, I mean, it's either a champion or a follower. Like, so you know what champions are. Everything else, every other creature that's not a champion is a follower. Yeah, elites are fought. Yep. Yep, every single thing that's not a champion is a follower. Basically, like, creatures and legendary creatures. Heimerdinger, okay. Basically, can I can I not block with Heimerdinger? Try me, I dare you. Block with all this stuff. I go down to six. I hope we're not just dead. Rather than putting a card in my hand. You know, this stuff to stop putting cards in my hand. Alright, come on, hit the lifelinker. One in three shot, hit the lifelinker. No. The 
I know, that would be great to purify a champion like Ezreal, yeah. Another barrier. <clears throat> like, we're going to be just fine as long as they don't combo kill me because of how ridiculous Heimerdinger is. Like, they're not they're not going to be able to kill me with spiders. It's just whether or not they can combo kill me with, like, a, a They Who Endure and an Atrocity, something like that. So I just have to keep my Purify available. Hey Blade, doing good, doing good. Yeah, just took took a day off yesterday. Um, since I haven't, you know, haven't had one in a, in a long time, just took one off yesterday to kind of recharge and and everything. Yeah, every couple of weeks, just you know, take a day off. I think I'm just giving them these poison puff caps. I'd have ten mana next turn. Ten mana seems like a pretty good, pretty good with all these twos, twos and threes and stuff. See if they draw puff caps. I don't I don't mind if stuff dies because I have infinite things. Everywhere I go, the light follows. All right, we good. Good. More puff caps. We're getting more puff caps. Oh, I don't know why I have the, the record here next to where Mother's Ram, sorry. Alright, so we're two and one here with Timer Lux Control. Alright, we got our quest done. So we unlocked an epic wild card. And now we are on the way towards. Should be on our way towards the champion capsule. I think that's up next. Yes, it is. All right, on the way towards that champion capsule. I basically have everything now though. So, you know, it took, took like a month, but I basically have the whole, the whole set. Uh, let's see. Where's our deck? Heimer Lux. There it is. I like our deck, though. Like, you know, if I didn't, um... 
if I didn't trade off creatures there, you know, I would have had the detain to for the, those who endure just to save um, to, to save me from that. And we were pretty close to having a three zero here. If I would have known about that card beforehand. Timo Ezreal Elise. This is probably a pretty crazy deck that my opponent's going to be playing. Let's see what they got. So basically, I, I milliganed the get excited, even though, you know, it does kill Elise and it does kill Ezreal. But I mulliganed it because... Um, and I'm not I'm not playing anything here. I'm mulling into it because it's not something that I like having in my opening hand because I don't really want to discard a card that early when you have less cards. Toasted. Yeah, I did. I had a I had a pretty good day. Um, you know, I kind of just needed, you know, needed a day off. It'd been, you know, a few weeks since I'd taken a day off. Close, actually, close to a month. This so was like so it was like three weeks. Yeah, it was like three weeks. So yeah, just kind of just kind of needed one of those. Um, I, I actually watched through the whole Hobbit series yesterday, the, all three movies. That's what I did. So I did kind of stay up a little late cause it went longer than I thought it was going to go. So I stayed up a little longer than I wanted to. I didn't get as much sleep. Um, I had seen each each one of the Hobbit movies before, but like back in like back whenever they came out, like I saw them like in theaters like 2012, 2013, 2014. I hadn't really seen them since then. And so watching them all back to back, you know, you, you notice, you know, some some things that are uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, shocking it went long, I know. You know, it's like some some little things they throw in there, you know, like callbacks to the previous movie and stuff like that that you know, I didn't really notice in, in theaters at the time. I I like the Lord of the Rings movies a lot. I'm not as big into the Hobbit ones. I don't think they were as good, but um, I really like the Lord of the Rings movies. But yeah, like I said, I hadn't really watched them since then, so I wanted to check them out. Boo. I was hoping to get another one of those three ones. I will hold the line. Hey, Wrangler. Happy Friday the 13th. That's right. That's why I wanted to put... I actually I put the Spider's Aggro in here, um, which doesn't need the apostrophe, by the way. But I put Spider's Aggro because I was like, ooh, it's Friday the 13th. We should play a scary deck. And so that's why I put the, the Spider's in here for today. Oh, we need a, need a scary deck.
Hmm. I think I'll just let that happen. Take a look. Now we're going to hopefully hit Radiant Guardian. Sweet. All right, gonna give them those pup caps. If they play champions, I can detain the champions onto my chump lump, and then I can purify it so they can't get it back. Yeah, take those pup caps. Got some good card advantage, though. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Oh, that's a harvest right there. More mushrooms. Ally dies, refill your spell mana. Mm, okay. Side by side, into battle. I think I may turn this Chump Wump into the Radiant Guardian so we can get two Radiant Guardians out here. There's nothing to fear. Except fear itself. Hmm. It's just an Elise. I, should, I really shouldn't be that scared of an Elise. We can only save the three mana, so I want to use the other, the rest. I don't know what happens if you detain and then transform. I'm not sure. I know if you de detain and then purify, it doesn't come back. I don't know about the transform. I mean, I guess I could find out. Oh, uh, they just passed. I didn't get any good use out of this progress day. Strike for 
for justice! Alright, yeah, y'all are saying you think it would be basically the same. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess we could try it. What's your hurry? One damage to all my stuff. Gonna kill this chump lump. Card. So I still have the Purify available just in case. Surprised they kill that and not their abominate, the not the curse keeper. That thing was gonna die, you know, like it was ephemeral, so it was just gonna die. But don't you just want the curse keeper out of here? Could be a game determined on milling out. Or how many of those they have. So we've captured two units there. So we've got the double detain that we can purify, or I could try the, the transmogulator. But I may need to save this transmogulator, because if they have another 30-30. Another day in the field. them some more puff caps in case they want to draw some more cards that egg did it move well that's deck's pretty sweet you know it's real very unique Unworthy. 
I really haven't like drawn my champions <laughs> at all. Like what I had like one Heimerdinger earlier. Considering, they're just firing off these flash of brilliances. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I can purify my own creature to get rid of the to get to get rid of the detain stuff. <clears throat> so yeah, so I don't have to worry too much about them, the detain, the detain creatures. That is. Hmm. Should have done that pre-combat. You can definitely see them playing Atrocity. You can definitely see them playing Atrocity. Well, this is the moment of truth. Oh yeah, y'all right because they have glimpse beyond for sure. I need oh I need to target I need to target my own thing because of glimpse beyond. No, I forgot about glimpse beyond. I need to target my own thing. And because then I have barriers also to protect my own thing. Yeah, I need to. I don't know. What are they? Yeah, I mean, I need to target my own thing. So can I survive from 30? The answer is no. What's happening right now is they are going to turn this thing into a 30-30, but I could I could get excited, I could kill it, so that, that's no big deal. But they have the glimpse beyond to sacrifice this so this doesn't resolve and so this thing stays a 30-30. And so that does the damage to me. So yeah, I needed to target my own thing. Okay, so yeah, that glimpse beyond. Forgot forgot about glimpse beyond until it was too late. I realized it like right after I I played it. I thought about it right after I played it. It was too late. So we played some we played some unique decks here. Some pretty cool decks. Both, you know, we we died to a they the. Uh, they who endure and a catastrophe. Those are the things that have been killing us. Not the normal things that you die to.
Yeah, that's true. We also won with a catastrophe, didn't we? I know what lurks in the shadows. This Remembrance card has been awesome for us. It's been really good. I think it's made our deck a lot better. Could go Barrier. But we won't. I think I'll, I'll probably discard this defender to the rummage. The random card's better than that. Is good. Injustice. Not a very fair card. And then I'm not playing anything else this turn, just gonna keep the barrier up because they could have, you know, like Black Feast. That's the name of the card. pass. Alright. Lux. Let the light guide you. They get to just attack before I play this. They do. I will hold the line. <laughs> Sorry about that. There is somebody kind of close, I guess. Harvey decided to start barking. Uh, 
Yeah, it's just just somebody driving by. I got nobody here. Dimensions don't determine themselves. Sorry about that. Let's see. So we need three more mana for Lux to flip. As far as spells go. Alright, so this will flip. This will flip Lux. Other two creatures are dying. I guess I could have shot the Rasa. I'm basically just saying that I'm going to be using a prismatic barrier here. I'll protect you. Pretty sure we got this. We then kindle anew. Pretty sure we got this. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Put on me mask, secure me tail. Stop Any changes now. to the game lately? Uh, not, not really. There's a, there's a patch. Uh, there's a, a patch uh, in four days next Tuesday that will take into effect. Um, That will, you know, they'll be like where they're going to adjust cards and everything. So we don't know. I don't, you know, they're going to probably announce it on Monday. What's going to happen in that patch. So we don't know exactly what yet, but that'll be really interesting to see.
Um, yeah, taking time off it right now, Kaysen's. I don't, I don't know. I don't really have any any plans to go to go back to magic right now. But maybe I will. I don't know. But uh, yeah, thanks to Mello. I wrote there why I think Legends of Runeterra is a, a better game than Magic, and um, and so I've moved to this new game. So right now my my plan is to you know have flash of brilliance, have get the elusive unit, try to win in the air. They only have one card left because they got the two mushroom clouds or the other ones. So unless they have something awesome, nope, they do not. Yeah, I could I could see them changing a I could see them kind of adjusting a, a decent amount of stuff um, with the the last news thing that they that they sent out um, the last state of the beta that they sent out um, I guess that was just two days ago um, and the link is right here if y'all haven't uh, read that but basically they talked about how uh, Shadow Isles just overall is too good. Um, uh, like where uh, Shadow Isle's intended weaknesses such as frail units and the inability to protect its units are too easily mitigated by cards like Mark of the Isles and Frenzied Skitterer. So I could see something happening with both of those cards. Um, they did talk about Ezreal. Um, they don't like uh, yeah, the basis said that Ezreal's like on their watch list. Um, for uh, healthy patterns. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Says we need to. Here we need to walk a fine line between satisfaction, satisfaction, interaction, and games actually ending. But um, yeah, the, because of this, they said that uh, how this deck pushes the boundaries of minimal interactivity, like it's it's hard, like basically it's hard to interact with this deck kind of thing. And they talk about Elnux, like the. That there may be too much RNG in Elnux, like they they want the games to be skill testing. Hazzy! Brand new tier one sub. Y'all get some hype boats in the chat for our new sub. Thank you, Hazzy. Our second sub of the day. And then uh, Shen, Vladimir, and Kalista basically talked about how those three champions aren't aren't good enough. They are not seeing enough play, and so whether you know they need to buff up like the the archetypes that they're that they're supposed to be in, or just like, or just buff up the champion, or kind of change the champion itself. Looking into that. A lot of good stuff in that state of the beta. I, I'm really confident with the the people in charge of Legends of Runeterra. Excuse you. Hmm.
Nothing escapes my wife. Now I draw that rummage that could rummage those things away. What if Rekindler got... What if Rekindler revived your weakest champion instead of the strongest champion? I mean, it's still reviving a champion. Oh, that's a hobbit right there. Hmm. Basically gets to tap out here because we have the barrier protection on Lux anyway, but no more For justice and all things bright. Glad I didn't play another creature pre-combat. Kindler so I can interrupt his action somehow. Fresh tracks. Counter fortune. Eminently logical. This is gonna be a lot of damage. We're just going upstairs with double get excited. Which will trigger Lux. And so then we'll kill the marksman. another three damage we get the, the challenger the creature we can use the challenger creature to take the sentry and then we can attack with everything Ooh, that was not good for them now harsh winds they're still dead Harsh wins on these two. They take seven, but they could have, like, you know, removal spells and stuff. 
I guess I got some jury rigs. To do some blocking. No. Yeah, it happens. Oh, did a good job staying alive. Yeah, that was a pretty valuable static for sure. Um, so I have two options. I can either just play a progress day and then get like the 8-8 eight eight and play the 8-8. Eight eight. Um, or I can detain my own Heimerdinger, you know, behind, you know, a Chump Wump or a Lux. So like whenever like the, it dies, we get Heimerdinger back. I think I should just progress day because you know if we just find a remove you know burn spell they're dead like we're so close to killing them. Oh right, final spark just kills them. Right. Right. There's that part too. All right, four and two. So usually I play 10 matches with decks. I'm just gonna be playing seven here. We've played some really, really long games. Like this is this is gonna be over a two hour video after this, this game. And so, um, you know, we're gonna switch decks after this, you know, I'd, for time considerations, because it's already gonna be two hours for this deck. So we'll play one more. We got Elise and Darius. I'll keep Heimerdinger and Remembrance. It's so like Remembrance uses all of your mana. So if you if you curve Remembrance into Chump Wump, you know, because Remembrance uses all of your mana on turn three. So then you play Chump Wump, which uses all of your mana on turn four. So then on turn five, you can't have the eight mana to have Heimerdinger plus whatever. So, you know, you can't. Can't curve perfectly with these. I could Mystic Shot now and then not really do anything next turn and then Chump Wump Heimerdinger. Or if I don't do anything now, then I Remembrance next turn, then I don't really do anything the next turn also. Sounds like I should Mystic Shot. Yeah, you can... Uh, all, all my decks are there on Mobile Addicts. There's the link. If you want, you're welcome. If you want this specific deck, you just do that, you know, non-plural. There you go. That, that's this specific deck. You're welcome, Tesla. Taking five. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. The people are my strength. Yeah, that thing's kind of big. That's a good card to purify. Be a good card to purify. Mm -hmm. 
So no flash of brilliance. Did not find one of those to go along with old Heimerdinger. Taking seven, going down to six. They have double Mark of the Isles. I'm dead. Hey, Tesla with the tier one sub. Or, yeah, that's me being dead. Thanks, Tesla. Definitely did not go with the safe play, and it cost me. Um, Tense, are you, are you talking about just like the decks that I have, like just in general? Or like this specific deck? I'll, I'll answer that here at, at the end. Uh, let me finish this, this wrap up here. Um, all right, so we have Heimer Lux Control there. So we ended up going four and three, but I really like how this deck felt. Two, two of the losses were kind of crazy losses. Like the first two were kind of crazy losses. Like one was to the that they who endure that I wasn't really expecting that I could have played around. And then that other one was the catastrophe that I, I maybe could have played around also that I, I didn't do a good job there either. So we had two like crazy big finishers that you don't really see too often. Um, but yeah, you know, like we, we've... Uh, we added in those remembrances and I, I really liked that card. I think it did. I think it did really good. The radiant guardian was really good. Um, yeah, this deck felt really solid. Like it, you know, even though we just went four and three, this felt like a deck that could have been six and one. If I would have played a little differently, um, on those first two losses, but it, uh, but yeah, liked it quite a bit. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's about it. All right, so if you like control, this is a good one to try. As far as like what's the very best Heimerdinger deck, I don't know. Like the Heimerdinger decks are all pretty good. Like it's Heimerdinger is such a strong card. Uh, yeah, I don't know exactly which one's the best, but I I can say that I was just really I was really pleased with how this deck felt. Um, so yeah, the the reason why Purify I have as a three of in here. Um, cause yeah, it does have, yeah, it does have a lot of game, but the reason why it, it, it's cause we have the combo with purify and detain. We didn't play any elusives, but it's just so good against the elusives, even though we didn't play against any this time. Um, but you know, cause it's, it's so important for that. And, and that elusive matchup is a, is a matchup that's pretty tough to win. Um, or it can be, and it's usually, it's a really popular deck and it's a, and it's a, it's one where we're not necessarily favored. I don't know how far, I don't know if it's like we're super behind or anything. I feel like getting all those purifies is really good for it. And remember, you, you we can rummage them away. So like that's that's something, you know, like if it if purify isn't, so you know, it's the kind of card that like it, it can be great, but also cannot really do anything. And if it's, if you're in a matchup where it doesn't really do anything, you still have options for it, you know, with rummage and get excited. You can still use it for a discard card. But then also remember it has the combo with detain, like where you where you detain their their creature onto yours, and then you purify your creature. You know works the best on like a chump wump um, or just a random unit that Heimerdinger makes. Um, and so then they so then whenever they kill your unit, they don't get theirs back. So it's kind of combo y there. I, I am like, with all that being said, that's why I have three in here. But with that being said, I'm not, I'm not in the, it has to be a three of camp. I am, I'm absolutely fine taking one out. If there's another card that you really like that you want to play, you know, if you want to play like a, 
I don't know, a standalone or if you want to play one judgment or one true shot barrage, you know, if you if you want to play something like that. I've been actually like pretty satisfied with Karina Veraza in this kind of deck kind of recently. So if, if you want to play one of those, you know, so if there's if there's like another card that, that you really want to fit in here, you want to fit like a second Radiant Guardian or something. If there's something you really want to fit in here, a repost. I go ahead, take out take out a purify. Um all right, so there we go. So there's um, the six mana f spell that makes a 5-5. Five five. I don't like that one that just makes the generic 5-5. Five five, the You're talking about the P and Z one. Um, I don't like that spell very much, wherever it is. Oh, why would it not be right here? Six mana spells. Oh, I probably just don't have it in my collection. That's why. Wherever it is. Unlicensed Innovation. There we go. Yeah, I don't really like that one too much. I have actually been pretty impressed with this Hex Hextech Transmogulator. I've actually been pretty impressed with that card. Just kind of saying. I have been impressed with that one. But yeah, you like having one of these turn three. I mean, we have... We have so, like, that's what we have the, the three remembrances for, but... Like, so it'd be like a fourth a fourth copy of one of those just to get the the turn three five five you, you could do it you could do it I kind of would maybe rather have like barrage or judgment something like that because you know you can definitely set up some blowouts with judgment for sure but anyway all right there's Heimer Lux control good deck probably better than the four three record that I just got with it. We got some fun ones to get to, though. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, yeah, it is a it is a it is a worse remembrance for sure. But um, yeah, it is much worse than remembrance. But you know, it's basically if you want the fourth copy of that. Uh, yeah, hit that like button over there. But leave those comments. I could really appreciate that. Leave a comment on the YouTube channel uh, for like on the videos. Uh, I'd really really appreciate that. You know, feel free to ask a question or anything like that, and I'll uh, respond to it. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Hyrule Lux Control, and I'll see you for the next video.